Welcome to Fantastic Friday, January 16th. I'm Natalie Conrad, your organizing professional, with more Go Month tips for you. Today, the topic is email. I've outlined some tips on handling your email overload. The first tip is set boundaries. Control your email, don't let it control you. When do you check your email? In most cases or occupations, checking it two to three times per day is sufficient. So turn off all those bells and whistles and set your boundaries for when you will check your emails. Work from the top down using the four D's. Four D's is a technique written in David Allen's book, Getting Things Done. The first D is delete. Not every email needs to be saved. If an email contains an important attachment, save that attachment, then delete the email. The second D is do it, if it takes less than two minutes. Two minutes here is a guideline. The point is to tackle the quick ones and get them out of your way. Delegate it. Does the email or information need to be handled by someone else? Pass it on right away and get it out of your email inbox. The last D is defer it. This action is taken for those emails that take more than two minutes. You'll need to determine when, based on your schedule, you can handle responding or taking action on these emails. Use a flag to remind you to get back to that item. Set up some file folders. For example, have a file folder in your email inbox for each project and committee or archived items, things that you may want to keep indefinitely. Create a separate email for e-zines or different sign-ups. This keeps your primary inbox cleaner and these emails do not need to be checked daily or maybe even weekly. Schedule email maintenance days. Set aside a day, perhaps the last day of the month or another time convenient for you. Be brutal. Challenge yourself to delete as many unnecessary emails as possible. Do old project folders also need to be cleaned out and deleted entirely? Not only can your email be organized, but if you need to organize your office, go to my website and check out the Organize Your Office Day virtually event. It's happening this Monday, January 19th. There's also information on my website about my upcoming workshops called Organize to Downsize. This has been a fantastic Friday message from your organizer, Natalie Conrad. Get organized and make room for life.